Hello Virgo, welcome to a you and them love reading. So let's jump into the reading. So Virgo, as always, this is going to be a general reading. Messages for Virgo, please. Spirit. And we'll start with what's going on in your connection. Please take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. And also check out the playlist for Virgo if you want to see more readings for your sign. Uh, the playlist is linked in the description box. So let's see what's going on in your connection. Sorry, what's going on for Virgo? Wow, okay, Knight of Cups, starting off with the Knight of Cups. What's going on for Virgo? Ten of Swords. So this could be an apology for an ending, a betrayal. It could be love coming in after the end of a cycle as well. This is somebody expressing how they feel. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and the Ten of Wands, another ten. Bottom of the deck, I have the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. I'm seeing a person that has a lot on their mind. Like they have a lot going on, obligations, responsibilities, things to do. They may be feeling overwhelmed. And I feel this is mental, like, an, like a mental weight. I feel like they're trying to do too much or um, trying to something about appearances because I heard the word appearances like appearing to do the right thing or, or needs to put their best face forward their best foot forward and it's like a self pressure I feel like this could have something to do with a commitment with the higher fun as well I do see that you know someone could be thinking about a commitment or overwhelmed with thoughts regarding a commitment, a marriage perhaps. With the seven of cups, this could be, you know, options that they're trying to think about. Let's see. Why is the seven of cups here? Why is the seven of cups? Judgment. This is a very big decision, whatever this is. I feel like they're making a big judgment call here. Yes, death. This could be a decision about putting an end to something or changing something in their life. Have the hangman at the bottom of the deck, so it could be a very big decision that they're thinking about a lot. Okay, so what's with this Ten of Swords? Now, this is what's going on in your connection. So both of your energies are here, you, yours and your person's. So this could be you having to make this big decision or your person. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Ten, another Ten, Ten of Pentacles and the Empress. Yeah, it's almost like someone wants to end a cycle for the better, for their better good or for, okay. I did not get that phrase right. For the, it's, it's almost like a, a, a change for the better. That's, that's, that's the phrase. To grow, to manifest, to have abundance, prosperity somewhere else. Um, in order to have prosperity. This could be an ending, a change that someone's making for their person as well. Because I have the King of Wands, so I'm thinking someone that's motivated, um, passionate, desires something. Okay, so that's what I see right now for the connection. So let's see what we have going on for each of you. I'm going to use a different deck for both of you. One, um, Each of you is going to get your own deck. I don't know why I can't speak English today. All right, Spirit. Spirit, tell me about Virgo's energy. 
Tell me about Virgo's energy. Parting ways, separation, divide, heartbreak. There's a disconnect between you. So you could be um, initiating a separation here or, or experiencing a separation, experiencing heartbreak. Timing, patience, waiting, time is of the essence. Maybe you've been waiting to do this. Maybe time has passed. Maybe you've been waiting for the right time to make this change in your life. Let's see. Tell me about Virgo. Tell me about Virgo spirit. What are Virgo's energies in this connection? What are Virgo's energies? Okay, we got the Queen of Cups. What are Virgo's energies? And the King of Cups. <laughs> Page of Cups. A lot of emotions, Virgo. A lot of thoughts, emotions. Um, oh, okay, I have the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. So this could be your intuition speaking to you. Um, you listening to your intuition, connecting with your feelings, going with what your heart is telling you to go for. Um, and I say that because I saw the Ace of Wands at the top of the deck. So I feel like you're being guided towards something new. Tell me about this Page of Cups. We got the Emperor, Aries energy. Why is the Page of Cups here? Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. So this is strategic. Hmm, I feel like you are interested in something, someone, possibly an Aries, someone with Aries in their chart or a masculine energy. Um, or this is just the energy that you are ex like coming into right now because you are interested in something new here or something has sparked your interest. And I feel like you're being very strategic, planning, um, being thoughtful about something. I have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck and Temperance at the top. So this could be something that, you know, over time you've thought about. There you are, the Hermit. Yeah, I feel like you you have clarity over what you want to do, given what's happened in the past. Every time I get this, I use this deck, I get so many messages because I, I just get distracted because I can see everything. Can I get some insight into this King of Cups, Queen of Cups? What's going on here? Six of Pentacles. So you could be wanting to restore a connection have a connection that is fair to you balanced uh, a connection where you give as much as the other person gives oh wow i got nine of yeah the five of cups so i feel like you're thinking about the past there's past regrets and i feel like you have a new way of looking at love or looking at relationships or just you want better for yourself maybe this is someone who you want that with or this is someone that you're ready to let go of in order to have this um, bottom of the deck i have the three of cups for some of you this is re reconnecting with someone and then there's death again at the top of the deck there's a big change happening here and i feel like it's on your end let's see let's look at your person Tell me about the person that Virgo is thinking about connecting with. Tell me about this person that Virgo is thinking about connecting with at this time. Paralyzing fear and deep regret. Well, geez, okay. 
Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty clear. It's almost like this person is, um, is dealing with both sides of the problem. So, so basically what I'm trying to say, because for some reason I cannot put into words what I'm actually thinking. Um, not only are they feeling regretful, right? Like just th they're feeling sorry, uh, maybe guilty or responsible for what might have happened. But I also feel like there's an anxiety, a fear that keeps them from doing what they feel they need to do. Or alternatively, they could be feeling fearful of never being able to do anything about this regret. For example, never being able to fix something. Tell me more about this person. Pisces, ruled by Neptune. So this could be uh, someone that's literally a Pisces. Or they could have um, Pisces somewhere in their chart or traits of a Pisces. So this is the moon card of the tarot because all of my zodiac signs in this deck, if you get a zodiac sign like this, um, I was inspired also by the tarot major arcana. So you can interpret it in both ways. So with the moon here, I feel like this person is, uh, there's a lot of unknowns for this person, doubt, confusion. Let's see if we can get another one. Tell me more about this person that Virgo is dealing with. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so again, they could be um, an air sign or they could have qualities of an air sign. So I'm um, thinking intellect, logic, freedom. A lightness. Hmm. I'm thinking more intellect here because I feel like this is someone that's really in their head. With the moon and this card, they're really in their head. Especially with paralyzing fear here. I'm thinking of like the nine of swords. So let's see what we can get with this person here. Let's use a different deck for them. Tell me more about this person's spirit that Virgo is dealing with. What can you tell me about this person? Okay, we have strength. Tell me about this person that Virgo is dealing with. Six of Swords. Yeah, the High Priestess. There's like a mystery here. There's something that's... I'm also thinking like intuition is very important for both of you. But for this particular person, yeah, and I have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So it's almost like the same, similar energy here with the Moon card and the High Priestess and then the Eight of Swords, the Fear card, you know what I mean? And then remember what I said, they're in their head. There's the Seven of Cups. I feel like there's a lot of thinking that this person is doing and it's almost like they're, it's paralyzing them. Too many options, too many things they could be doing. Now, why the Six of Swords and the Strength card? Now, with the Strength card, it might require courage for them to do what needs to be done. Why is the Strength card here? Yep, they need courage to make a move. Knight of Wands, the Devil. Mm -mm. Yeah, this person's literally like tied down somewhere or by something with the devil Capricorn energy. Yeah, they need, they, okay, then we have the emperor again, by the way, the emperor showed up twice, Aries energy on your side and on their side. But it's interesting, I feel like you both have different motives. This person knows that they need courage to step into an energy where they could take a hold of the situation, take charge have a new beginning, I have the fool here, take a risk. 
Tell me about the Six of Swords. What's the Six of Swords about? Three of Cups. Five of Wands. This could be a third party situation where they have a third party or you do. The Sun and the Four of Wands. Interesting. So there could be a bit of drama here. But, you know, I feel like this person is wanting to have some sort of reunion here, which, by the way, you had a reading recently about a reunion. So check that out if this resonates for you. Um, but I feel like this is this your person wants to have a happy home, stability, go after what makes them happy here. Um, it's just there's some drama. Maybe they need to leave the drama behind or the third party behind or you do. And this is what they're thinking about when they think about you. What's with this High Priestess? Six of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, wow. Why is the High Priestess here? The Hangman, oh, again with a lot of thinking. This person's doing a lot of thinking and so are you as well. But I feel like this person's thinking is specifically about you. And I'm not sure your think your the way that you're thinking, I'm not sure if it's with this person in mind in particular. It could be, but I don't see that for everyone. Now with the high priestess and the six of cups, I feel like there's like a secret tie to the past here. And when the wheel, I feel like they, they're they they're yearning for an opportunity, um, a, a lucky break. What's with this wheel? This could also be divine timing. What's with the wheel? Hmm, this is about timing. We got judgment at the bottom of the deck with the two of cups. So yeah, I feel like this is someone that is hoping for a second chance, but how to do it? Because there's, they have regret or remorse or guilt about something. So something must have happened here in the past. Tell me about the hangman. Yeah, they're thinking about the first steps, the you know first conversation taking the first steps towards something and the page of wands tends to take risks yeah look at this seven of swords you have the seven of swords as well interesting you might be thinking of this person because you have the seven of swords but i don't think that's for everyone i don't know i feel like i'm reading for like two different groups here Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is someone that's thinking about bringing you an offer of some sort that might take some time to bring to you, probably because of all this drama here. So where is all of this headed in the near future? Let's make some room here. Spirit, where is all of this headed for Virgo and this person? I'm gonna pick a few cards here. Wow, 10 of cups. I think all of the tens came out in this reading. What's next for this connection? Could be a happy ending here. Three of pentacles, page of cups again. Yeah, this could be somebody either coming to apologize or expressing how they feel, bottom of the deck. Nine of swords and the four of swords. So again, someone really thinking maybe talking themselves out of something here <laughs> it's like so much thinking like a restlessness practically here um they can't sleep they can't eat kind of thing um they're stressed and i feel like they might be overthinking can i get one more for this ten of cups Two of Wands. Mm. This is someone deciding, a, you know, choosing a path, a direction, waiting patiently for, you know, to decide. 
which option is the best because they're thinking of their own happiness which I think, I don't know if we had something like that up here, was it? Yeah, like ending something, ending a cycle to have a long-term long -term success and growth elsewhere. Now with the Three of Pentacles, some of you could be dealing with, you know, there could be another person involved in some way here. Um, it's not for everyone. I feel like this is someone that's willing to work on this connection a bit more or tell you that they're willing to work on it but others of you this is a third party otherwise i'll leave it here virgo thank you so much for watching uh leave me a comment if you'd like if you want to say hello or if the reading resonated for you that way i don't feel like i'm talking to myself <laughs> and i just like hearing from you guys hearing how the stories resonate and um if you enjoy the readings um i don't know i really like it so uh thank you to everyone who takes the time out of their day to leave me a kind comment uh, it's really appreciated and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.